welcome back to my youtube channel now i've been shifting for four years now almost four and a half i think but throughout that journey i have made so many mistakes so many mistakes but it happens to everyone so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can avoid these mistakes that i made so that hopefully you can shift to your desired reality faster but if you're new to the channel and enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe down below and turn on post notifications so that you get notified whenever I upload a brand new video and answer this question in the comments below. What has been your biggest challenge in your shifting journey? I asked the same question on my community page the other day and here are some of the answers that I got. Very universal, we've all experienced these at some point in our shifting journeys. So. You're not alone guys, practicing shifting is a process and we've all been there, so you're not alone when it comes to making mistakes. The day after I filmed the initial video, but I am so, so excited to finally announce that my reality shifting journal is live on Amazon and you can buy it for yourself. The main thing I want to say about this book is that I've purposely made it blank. Literally, it's just 120 pages of lines. As I've spoken about on my channel, your shifting journey is completely unique to you and I wanted this shifting journal to reflect that. That's why I haven't added any prompts or any like sections or anything like that. So you can use this shifting journal however you please. You can use it to script your DRs, you can use it to keep track of your shifting attempts, note down any methods or tips that you find valuable so i'll leave a link in the description box below so that you can order your own copy of the shifting journal if you'd like one i had no clue how to print books i had absolutely no idea so the fact that this is now in my hand is actually insane and i'm so excited to be finally sharing it with you all i purposely tried to make it as cheap as possible as well so i have tried my best with that if you don't have the money to buy one that is completely fine you're not obliged to have to get one if you have the money and of course if you want a copy of this shifting journal then the link is down below so back to the video so the first mistake that i made was overcomplicating absolutely everything i thought that i had to have some super complex multi-step method and i thought i had to script even the smallest details into my shifting scripts the reality is you don't need all of these complex methods in order to shift you don't even need a specific method at all you can find an existing method out there and adapt it to help it fit for you you don't have to fit the method the method has to fit for you the same thing goes for creating scripts some people find scripts useful some people can just do it all in their mind it all depends on how you work obviously it's your shifting journey after all so my best advice is to find what works for you and stick with it so this will take time like all things this will take time don't stress over it you may find one method that works for you two methods three methods whatever you might find a specific scripting layout that works for you or you may realize that it's better just to keep it all in your mind whatever works for you find out what that is and then stick with it the second mistake i made is expecting instant results when i deliberately tried to shift i expected to shift on my first attempt which for some people that may happen but for the majority it is unlikely when you intentionally try to shift shifting unintentionally is a completely different story i've spoke about on my channel before that we're constantly shifting realities based on the different choices that we make in things but in this video i'm specifically talking about intentionally trying to shift but i used to read all of these success stories and it would get me really motivated don't get me wrong but I would go to attempt to shift and when I didn't get the results I wanted, I started doubting myself and doubts are one of the biggest setbacks when it comes to shifting. Whilst you can shift with doubts, it can be incredibly hard to not let them hinder your progress. But like I said earlier on in the video, and this is pretty much one of my biggest mantras here on this channel, your shifting journey is unique to you and you shouldn't compare yourself to other people's journeys because they're just doing what works for them that might not work for you as well you need to find out what works i've also learned that patience is key you can't just expect things to happen overnight 
and if it doesn't happen overnight do not stress about it because if you stress about it it's just gonna make things worse in your mind this third mistake is kind of linked with the second one and it's all about self-doubt self-doubt has been one of the biggest struggles that i've had during my shifting journey i know that it's been a struggle for a lot of other shifters in their journeys as well but like i said earlier self-doubt is one of the biggest roadblocks when it comes to shifting it's just the case of learning how to overcome that and learning how to rewire your brain to stop this self-doubt from hindering your progress like i said earlier on you have to believe that you are capable of shifting because at the end of the day this is all going on in your mind in order for it to manifest itself into your 3d world so if you're constantly doubting yourself then obviously your mindset isn't going to align with being able to shift as easy because of that mental roadblock that you're placing down with every bit of doubt that comes into your mind and whilst i haven't completely gotten over this self-doubt i have came a long way and once you get over the first few hurdles you can instantly see a change in your mindset and it's honestly so relieving i felt a massive weight lifted off my shoulders once i realized that most of the self-doubt that i had in the beginning of my shifting journey was gone so if you're just starting out with learning the concept of reality shifting here are some tips that i can give to you so that you can avoid the mistakes that i have just spoken about in this video so number one keep your methods simple don't overcomplicate anything find a method that you feel like you want to try try it out and mentally know or write down what you liked about it what you didn't like and then try that with a few methods and then you can either take your favorite parts from multiple methods and create your own or keep trying new methods until you find one that works for you number two be patient shifting is a process and it's not going to be the same for everyone and once you realize that you're on your own unique shifting journey it makes things so much easier tip number three is to trust yourself don't let self-doubt get in the way but you also need to remember that even if you do have self-doubts you will still be able to shift but it will just be harder obviously but there are ways to reprogram your mind i have a few videos talking about it i'll leave it in the eye above or if i forget to do that i have a whole separate playlist on my channel anyway so you can go ahead and watch those if you would like but i also want to hear from you guys so what has been your most challenging part of your shifting journey leave it in the comments below because i'm sure another person at least one person has experienced the same exact thing if you did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already what are you doing if you haven't subscribed what are you doing We've got more shifting content coming i've kind of got a little schedule going on now i try to post every single saturday at 5 p.m great british time so stay tuned at those times whatever time that is for you find out and that's when i'll be uploading every single saturday so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye